This is the ancient Texan. What I'm fixing to say here, some of my Texan talk, I hope I'm wrong. The title of this podcast and YouTube video is going to be Putin will take out Zelensky with a nuclear weapon. I can kind of briefly go over what's happening right now. For those of you that don't follow every minute of the war, probably the Ukrainians just took out uh, a bridge that goes from Russia to Crimea. It's a $4 billion bridge that the Russians built to allow them to take just basic, you know, food, fuel, etc. to Crimea without having to put all of it on ships uh, for what is a relatively short trip, except it's over water. And it's also a bridge that he supplies his troops uh, in the southern part of Ukraine those troops are under duress right now from Ukrainian soldiers. It's not going good. In addition, maybe up to a million potential soldiers have fled Russia, just picked up and left and went to the neighboring countries. Every plane ticket that's available has been sold to people trying to get out, even though the plane tickets are couple of thousand bucks so you know that's a month paycheck for most Russians Putin has been saying that he'll use all means necessary to defend Russia and he annexed you know four states in Ukraine, so he says, they're now our states and you're attacking Ukraine. So the Rush, the Ukraine army, those special, special troops, like they blow up a bridge and the regular soldiers are beating the Russian army. And that, despite the fact that you that Russia is trying to recruit, you know, maybe they say 300,000, maybe a million people into their army, um, is certainly not going to turn around soon. Putin is getting criticism from the hawks and his government to do something. What can he do right now? Not a whole lot more than what he's doing if you keep nukes off the table. Biden has said that this is Armageddon. If U.S. and Russia are not careful, they'll go down the road of mutual self-destruction. Mad. For those of that followed me for the last few years, uh, I've always said the biggest existential threat to our country, to our world, to our existence as humans is not climate change, it's nuclear weapons. Nu nuclear weapons have always depended on this concept of mad, mutually assured destruction, which in turn depends upon having sane people that have their finger on the button. People that don't get themselves into a situation like Putin has, where he's going to lose big time if he pulls out and will probably lose control of the government and will probably end up dead. They play the games a lot tougher there. In the U.S., we've got Trump 
four lawsuits, eight lawsuits, criminal action, all that kind of stuff. And he started to show his stress and kind of talk crazy, but he's always talked crazy, so I don't know if I... Trump seems to be pretty amazing at holding up the stress. But Putin, the kind of stress Putin has is much bigger than Trump has. Trump's out of power. He's fighting to hold on to power, both in terms of legal issues and also control of the party. Maybe even a little bit of his health. Putin today just turned 70, and for his birthday, he got a Marilyn Monroe happy birthday to you. If you've ever heard that, Marilyn Monroe sang it to JFK, who was the last person to face a nuclear crisis. So they sent a little message after the bridge. The bridge is a bridge that has rail traffic trains to bring in supplies, especially military, and then a road that can bring in, you know, people going in and out. People, like, go to Crimea for vacations. But they also go, traffic has to go in and out for normal living, you know, bread and bullets. So taking that bridge out is a big deal physically, and it makes it much harder on Russia. But strategically and politically, it is huge. The embarrassment to Putin is off the charts. Zelensky... Uh, is one of those rare people in history that step up from the first day when our government said, let's get your ass out of here so you don't die. You can rule the country from somewhere else. And he said, nope, I'm not going anywhere else because we're going to stand here and we're going to fight the Russians and we're going to win. That took really big ass balls to do that. Zelensky, just a little side note, had a little broadcast recently where he asked Russian soldiers, the ones that are being recruited, to please get their body tattooed so that it'll help the Ukrainians to send their bodies back to their mothers, their wives, their children, their family. If they would just get a little tattoo put on themselves with their name, that would be a big help to the Ukrainians in getting their bodies sent back to Russia. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Think how tactical that is. You also probably hear a little stress in my voice because this is really getting serious between Zelensky and Putin. And Zelensky is the one that's winning this, both on the battlefield and also public opinion. Zelensky has just put out a message that says Putin is preparing his people for the use of nuclear weapons. Zelensky has been dead on and correct since day one. Zelensky has been ahead of the rest of us, especially the Russians, since this whole thing started. Zelensky is now telling us that Putin is preparing his people for nuclear weapons. What kind of nuclear weapons? Seems logical to me that Putin recognizes that his biggest challenge is Zelensky. Zelensky's leadership, not only of Ukraine, but of the world, has been extraordinary. Take a tactical nuclear weapon, 
annihilate the headquarters in Kiev where Zelensky is. Putin has a chance of winning the war if he takes out Zelensky. Or at least that's what he'll think. How will we respond? We'll probably send NATO forces into Ukraine. Our air superiority will make short work of the Russian troops. Where will that put Putin? Putin will be in a position that he either uses nuclear weapons or he steps down from power and is probably killed by his own people. Putin has shown every indication that he doubles down. He doesn't back up. That's not his modus operandi. He's the kind of bully you don't mess with. He's the kind of bully that is a real bully. So we're in this point that I think is probably the most dangerous point in human history. I was watching the TV when uh, Kennedy told the Russians to back down in Cuba. And then made some compromises with the Russians behind the scenes to remove some weapons from close to Russia and some other uh, behind the scene negotiations to make that happen. I'm afraid we don't have those behind the scene negotiations and the willingness to negotiate with Putin. Maybe we shouldn't, maybe we should stand up to a bully. But the stakes are really, really high. They have more nuclear weapons than anybody, including us. Don't know how well that worked, but 25% of them work. It can wipe out America and Europe. This is really dangerous times. And what makes, if we somehow manage to get <clears throat> through this, I, I'm afraid we'll forget it. We'll go back to talking about existential crisis and we'll be talking about climate change, which is not an existential crisis for maybe more for the world than for us, but it's not for the United States. And it's only a small percentage of people in the world is it that big a crisis. Nuclear weapons are another level. They're orders of magnitude more likely. Some people say the odds are as much as one out of three that will wipe out not all only the humans now, but all humans in the future with nuclear weapons. Now how people figure that out, I don't know. The people that have studied it consider the odds or the circumstances coming up of it happening one out of three. Who knows if that's right? But I think we're facing one of those right now. And I don't think many people obviously take it as seriously as I do. But maybe it will scare the bejesus out of us. And we'll start thinking about the fact that we need to keep our promise we made a promise that we would get rid of nuclear weapons if the rest of the world would not adopt, adopt them. Well, we haven't kept our promise. But I think we need to lead the world in disarming and getting rid of nuclear weapons. Assuming we make it, the, make it, out, of the, make it out of this close call. So the title is Putin takes out Zelensky with nuclear weapons. 
Sure as hell hope I'm wrong. This is the ancient Texan. Wishing you a good day. Namaste.